So, it's true. You know, last couple of years, I mean, that's the shit I'm on. You know, I'd rather I'd rather not put out something for five years than put out like you know garbage. Right, right, right. And uh, your last project, Never Walk Alone. That's the last one you put out. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've um I've done a couple singles with my boy Chris Sabansky. Um, he's kind of like an alternative rock cat. He does pop. He does everything, you know. And uh, we we did a couple records together. Six Feet Under was the last one I put out in November. Um, and you know I got a lot I'm working on right now. But again, if it's not perfect, I'm not putting it out. So um, the direction I'm going, uh, it's been a couple different directions. So I got to figure that shit out, you know, because you can't you can't put out just one one single here and there. It's it's okay. But my, my project I'm working on, um, it needs to be perfect, man. It needs to be cohesive and have a lot to offer, you know? It is it a conceptual out. project? Is it... Um... Yeah, always. Everything I do okay. is conceptual, bro. I'm not... I'm, you know, and, and there are times I wish I was a punchline rapper, you know? I mean, some of my favorite rappers are just... They're punchline. That's all the fuck they do. And I love it. It's the shit, dude. You know, you know. They're setting up the left. They're coming. Yeah, through. yeah. Oh my god, I know it's coming. Wow. Okay, it's dope. It's clever, right? Um, but to me, I, I just, I, you know, I overthink everything. That's why my name's Metaphysics. It's the nature beyond reality. It's, I, I overthink everything. So everything's a concept. Everything is deep to me. That's just how I have to do shit, you know. Um, Edison Zink, off the rock. Uh, Evolution of the White Wolf, Never Walk Alone. They're, these are all deeply rooted conceptual albums. Now, if anyone's watching this or when they do, when we chop it up and put it on YouTube and all that, someone watches this for the first time and they're just meeting Meta P, what's, what's a song you're most proud of that you would send someone to go listen to if, yeah. to get a piece of Meta P? Uh, I mean, Rhode Island Reds, bro. And... You know, the only thing I don't like about that song is that, they, you know, it's it's not a solo project. So, you know, but it is, it's my favorite, you know, most popular song we've ever done. People still love it. Yeah, I like Happy Birthday, too. It's all right. <laughs> um, I, I like I like Dragonfly. I like Rhode Island Reds. Um, I like Wolves with Apathy. Uh, Kill Swag with Self-Titled. Um I mean, those, those are probably my favorite joints right there that I've ever done. Um, the Never Walk Alone Project, uh, track number two. Yeah, I said Dragonfly, May. <laughs> um, if you're a Pitbull lover, lover uh, Animal. Animal is the joint uh, that I did about Pitbull abuse. Um, but, I'm, man, I don't know. You know, it's tough. I really do like the new project a lot, man. I didn't get the reception I've got on my other projects, and that's okay, you know. Uh, the budget wasn't as high on it, and that didn't uh, that didn't affect production quality, but it did affect, you know, features, distribution, things like that. And that stuff all costs money, you know, especially nowadays, man. If I, the last record I put out that was big, I think, was 2015, uh, 2014. In that then last year 2019 right so those five years were huge you know i mean millions and millions of artists emerged in those five years the internet became a different animal you know and to tame that animal and get your music heard is a challenge i don't care yeah, yeah. about on your team and you're gonna be doing something that hits something different something right um you know but you know i mean you can only take these lessons and move forward. I'm very proud of my last project. I put a lot of time into it, but you gotta, you gotta keep moving, man. You know, and, and the, the one thing I do like about new, new wave hip hop right now and the new artists is people aren't really restricted to a genre. People are doing whatever the fuck they, they, they want. And I love that. It doesn't matter if you're, where you're from, how old you are. Like people are just like, I like rock. I'm going to do rock hip hop shit. Like they, but they don't call it that. They just call it, fucking hip-hop and yeah yeah that's cool that we're dropping the labels you know i mean it's like where where the school we came from it's if you did like a rock remix or something you know it was like a big deal man i remember when like onyx did uh 
like that judgment night shit with biohazard that was yeah a, yeah that was a big deal man you know like and uh but now it's like people people don't really care man you see kids all over the city skateboarding and shit like i mean they're they're skate kids skateboarding now fucking anybody can skateboard man yeah I yeah big tough guys with fucking muscles skate chains and shit skateboarding you know what the fuck <laughs> you know it's oh, cool. especially down here, they got the the electronic skateboards. I seen some kid. I'm like, oh yeah, people don't really know about that up north. I mean, <laughs> down here, but, dude, everyone in my everyone in my neighborhood has a uh, they have a bicycle and they put like lawnmower engines, and the shits fucking fly. They go like thirty miles an hour. Yeah, they there's bump. a kid. There's a kid over here. He don't he he doesn't abide by the stop signs. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, technically, do you have to? Because you're not really like I don't I don't. Yeah, I don't think you do. It's not a vehicle. I don't think you have to abide by the rules of the road if you're not a vehicle. You'll definitely fuck someone up if you hit them with that. Thing. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I go on 30 miles an hour. I've seen them. i seen them go faster too. You know. But yeah, like uh, the the motorized skateboards are crazy, man. Crazy. Anyways, yeah, Florida's on some. It's a different level of trash down here, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. We up north, it. up north, the trash has to stay inside for a few months of the year it's, before yeah, it can, yeah. hi, you know, it's got to hibernate and then come out when spring comes. But, you well, know, yeah. down here, down here, trash, trash is out all the time. Boy, it's always in season. <laughs> <laughs> Desco, what up, Desco? Shout out to Desco. Desco. Desco, so why don't we tell the story? Let's, you want to tell a story, a tour story? Yeah, Rev Rev's already asking for tour stories, so let's, okay, let's, let's get him let's, going. Let's tell a tour story, all right? So I'm going to say because Desco joined, right? <laughs> shout out YouTube motherfuckers. Yeah, shout and, out to Desco. And, all right, so we finished the last tour. This is last year. And uh, we're in uh, NECA. Shout out NECA. If, if he's still mad, I think he's mad at Dot still. And uh, <laughs> which Dot cannot deal with because he's type A, which is even too funny. But anyways, so... We're in NECA studio and we did five shows in five days. You know, of course, me and M Dot, we get in a fucking thing every time we go on tour. Uh, this time I was losing my voice and he's all mad at me and shit because I wanted to have a beer one night. Anyway, so we get through, we do five shows in five days in f like four countries. And then we, we go and we, we're like, all right, man, we're going to get drunk, you know, because we don't do shit. People think our tours are like fucking military camp because M Dot's running them. So, which is cool. I respect that. But just for the people who don't know. So we're, we're all fucking drunk on this rum and shit. He has all this rum. I'm smoking cigarettes, dude. I don't even smoke cigarettes. I've been, I was smoking like half a pack. So, so he's, uh, NECA has to work. Uh, NECA's our boy from Switzerland. He has to work the next morning. And he has like, you know, his bedroom is right next to the main room where we're, where, you know, playing Mortal Kombat and bumping music and all this shit, right? He calls Desco on FaceTime and he's like, yo, Desco, I come behind him like this. And I'm like, I'm like, go to sleep, motherfucker, go to sleep. Like, <laughs> so, so Desco's laughing all this shit, right? MDOT can't get out of my fucking rare naked choke. He can't get out. He can't get out. He tries using his, his fat little legs. I fucking trap his legs, dude. So he's flip, he's, he, he flips a switch immediately and fucking suplexes me on top of this table with all this uh, photo equipment right beneath it, dude right beneath it like mm -hmm. and then i still have him right i still have a hold of him so he bites my ass dog like <laughs> full on bites my ass like i had m dot's fucking i had his whole dental record on my ass dude for like for like months 